Elon's Space Race From building rockets in order to reach and colonize Mars, to making Tesla cars move into space, Elon Musk has got it all covered. With the goal of reaching Mars as soon as possible, and to make energy sustainability on our planet Earth, Elon's team has been doing wonders and have been giving their best in order to improve every day. And their recent report of the latest developments just adds on to it. But what are these latest developments all about? How are these extraordinarily different? What could Elon be making now? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another video from our channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, we will be talking about the latest developments from SpaceX that will just blow your mind. We will be doing a deep dive into the spacesuits, going through every detail about it. So if you are new to this channel, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. NASA has quite recently announced that it has licensed Elon Musk's SpaceX to launch their latest Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope in order to study dark matter further. The launch has been scheduled for October 2026 by the earliest, and the launch vehicle chosen is SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. The contract is described by NASA as an indefinite delivery and indefinite quantity contract, leaving it open to any number of changes. The total cost factored in for the telescope, including launch and mission charges, is approximated to be around $255 million. The main goal of the telescope is to study dark matter and dark energy, and research further for exoplanets. NASA has also entrusted the task of delivering Roman to the Langrange 2 to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which is reported to be the most powerful rocket currently in operation, capable of chalking up to 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. The latest reports from the development team of SpaceX suggest that they have come up with a new spacesuit which is quite extraordinarily different from other spacesuits and would send SpaceX's competitors to the drawing board. It is a new breed of spacesuit for the new breed of spaceships this would mark the first time since the space shuttle era that was about a decade ago that the American astronauts will fly to the space aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft this May 27th. This would mark the first commercial crew flight for NASA and would also be the first time the astronauts launch the flight from the American soils in nearly a decade. These are not the ordinary orange pumpkin flight suits astronauts used to wear during the launch phase of shuttle flights managed by NASA. These SpaceX spacesuits are cool enough and are one-piece white design and much sleeker than the earlier bulky white space shuttle launch suits. These were known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suits. These new SpaceX spacesuit designs are so slim that in 2018, the founder of the company Elon Musk was made to reassure his concerned followers by saying that it definitely works. You can just jump in a vacuum chamber with it and it's fine. The astronauts who flew as the first of the crew members of the test flight of the SpaceX's Crew Dragon have also commented on the differences between the earlier ones and the latest slim ones. This is the one made by SpaceX. This SpaceX suit is significantly different from the suit we wore on the shuttle. Hurley, a veteran of space shuttle flights STS-129 and STS-135, said during a pre-flight press conference May 1st, without going into too much detail. He then added on to this by saying that it is different from the so-called suit that the Russians use for spaceflight. But then he also claimed that he never actually went through the entire suit process because so-called spacesuit were being used as a backup and would only be used if something or other went sideways during the brief mission to the International Space Station. The newer suits will go through the same pre-flight checks as the pumpkin suit and the so-called suits. What we're doing on the SpaceX side is to kind of reach back and kind of pull forward. Maybe a retro styling or a different way of creating their own unique kind of mission symbol or symbolism rather than trying to copy what was done on the space shuttle side, claimed Benkin. He then added on to this by saying that the pumpkin suit is an iconic part of space shuttle launches. And he said that he expects the same will happen soon for the SpaceX spacesuit. Both of the suits have succeeded, I think, in terms of becoming iconic, in terms of symbolizing the mission in front of us and the excitement associated with what we're going to accomplish. However, there have also been reports that claim that SpaceX has kept some of the features and functionalities of the spacesuit private. SpaceX spacesuit is designed to be functional, lightweight, and to offer protection from potential depressurization. Do you think these spacesuits will be the future of spacesuits? Will these suits be used by other space agencies as well? Is there any downside to using these spacesuits? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already, and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!